Welcome back to AuctionProTemplates.com. My name's Ali Barbar, and in this tutorial, we're going to be going over the categories. Now, in eBay, uh, you can create a listing frame. You can turn it on from inside Manage My Store, which will have the header section and will have the categories going down the left. We can't actually stylize those. We can't actually touch them. They're outside of the areas that we're allowed to uh, code, okay? So what we have to do is we actually turn those elements off and we actually create our own categories. Now these categories are created with the JS file, the same identical JS file that we did with the tabs and the actual bottom. The reason being is that these categories are more than likely going to change across uh, different themes and they're not dynamic, meaning they're not going to be pulled in from your eBay store categories. You're physically going to have to add them. So that we need to make, we need to be sure that if you want to make these edits, it's as painless as possible instead of actually having to come in and revise every single item and make the edits accordingly. So these create these categories are actually um, created that manner for all our custom designs and stuff like that. We actually have a dynamic script that pulls in data from your eBay store, okay? But that's not included inside of these eBay listing templates. If you're wanting a custom design, just let us know. So for these categories, again, we just need to change the JavaScript file. So let's get on with it, and I can show you how to do it. Uh, back to our friend, the Mr. Notepad++, or whichever one you're using. And you, we're going to do this two ways. What, the first way is we have a file in here. In fact, I've just added it. It's called categories.html. And this is sort of displayed in a way that's sort of more visually easy to see, okay? The actual final result is going to be inside of the listing categories.js inside of the JS folder, okay? And this is actually going to have to be one line of code. Now, we can come in here and change it if you want. That's not a problem. I just thought maybe it might be a bit hard to see where things end and start. So maybe it's best to create your categories and save it as this file. And then after that, we paste it into here before uploading that, okay? So let me explain what we have here. We have the categories, okay, the store categories. And we have three tiers at the moment. If I come back, you'll see what I mean. We have tier one, which is the main star, uh, name of link, name of link. We have level two, which is inside of this first one, okay, is a second layer, is a sub subcategories, and you'll see there. And inside of this subcategory, we have another subcategory, a sub subcategory of level two links. We have level three, okay? So we actually have a three tier category. Depending on how you want yours to be, is depending on how this will look. So let me explain. For the tier one, for the main categories, which is the ones with the star, name of link, name of link, name of link, they are just a single li file, okay? They're just simply a li with a uh, link and the name of the link. That's that's one link, that's another link, that's another link, etc. Okay, so that's how you create the individual link. Now inside of this link, after this first link, should I say, so name of link, which is, let's just for visual purposes call this, um, I don't know, shoes, okay? Inside of the link called shoes, we want to have a subcategory, okay? And in that subcategory, we basically want to do things like, uh, I don't know, baby shoes um, I'm just making things up here adult shoes uh, dogs shoes okay uh, and for now I'm just gonna take out these other two so inside of the link inside of the link called shoes there's now three links in there called baby shoes adult shoes and dog shoes so using this uh, as an example this name of link is now shoes and level two links will now say baby shoes, um, adult shoes, and dog shoes. That's how it will look, okay? Let's say, for example, inside of dog shoes, we wanted to have another subcategory, so a sub-subcategory, which is level three links. We would then just simply, inside, our, we would basically put this after um, dog shoes, so make sure it's the block of code after dog shoes, and let's just put in here green, and I don't know blue okay so these are the colors of the dog shoes so this is how you make these one tier two tier three tier let's do another one just to make sure you understand what we're doing because they were already created let's say here we have uh, clothing 
Okay, so this link here is called clothing. And let's say for clothing, we actually just want a two tier. So we want clothing and then we want to have like a subcategory of clothing. All you'll do is copy this line four to line eight. Hit, make some space underneath, doesn't really matter how much, and then just simply paste in level two inside of there. Now you would put what you wanted to do in here. So clothing, it would be uh, shirts, bags, which is not really clothing, nonetheless, socks. If you wanna have another link, let's say you wanna have another link under socks, just copy this one line of code hit enter and paste it underneath and then give it a name of whatever you want to call it. What's some more clothing hats, okay? That should be fine for this example. So I hope you sort of get an understanding. You just need to basically use these as starter blocks and paste them in where you actually want them. Um, okay, the next thing that you have here is you have where it says link here. This is going to be the link to that page on eBay. So you, the easiest way to find that out would be is to, if I come back to the store quickly, you would just simply click on one of the categories that you want this to go. So let's say we want it in sub sub three. And then you would just copy the URL and then you would paste it inside of this section here where it says link here. You would just paste in that uh, link to that category. Okay, and you would need to do that for each one. Now, unless you're creating categories every day, then this might be a bit of a problem. But normally we find that most people set up their main set of categories, link them to the category page, which never changes link. It's always the same link. It's not like a product where the actual link changes after the product expires. And then they sort of leave it like that. And when they want to make a tweak, uh, let's say in a month's time, you want to add a new category, you would just come in and add it to wherever you want to put it. Okay, so really, it seems like a lot of work. But once you've done it once, you're pretty much um, set up and ready to go. The next thing you have here is the title. Again, we talked about that in some other tutorials. And that just allows you on the hover of the link. And let's see if I can find one like the about us. You'll notice a little box underneath the cursor comes saying about us exactly what it does you just change it to be whatever you want it's also good SEO and good good habit to get into when dealing with links and then the last thing is what we've already talked about and that's changing the name of the link to be whatever you want to call it okay so once you're happy with all that and as I've said you can copy you can add as many as you want just keep copying Lee to Lee and just pasting them in when you want once you're happy with that, you can save that just so you actually have a hard copy of that. So next time you come in, you don't have to do all of this again. And now what we need to do is we need to paste this into into this listing underscore categories dot JS to make things a little bit easier. I'm just going to move some spacing up here. And I'm just going to copy all the code. And I'm going to start at the other end just because it's easier. You'll notice you have a semicolon, a bracket, and then you have a, a quotation. You want to catch the last UL. You see this UL here? You want to make sure you select that, and you want to come all the way to the first UL, and you want to delete. Make sure your code stays like that, doc type, right, and it's in between the brackets and the, co and the um, quotation marks that you want to paste this code. Now, it's going to look a bit messy to start with, but that's all right. We'll be able to tidy it up. So I'm just simply going to paste it in there. Now, all I need to do is I just need to delete um, the spaces. So I just need to bring everything up. I'm actually hitting um, delete, and then I'm hitting the end button on my keyboard. It brings me to the end of the code. Uh, how are we looking? Still got a long way to go. So delete, and I'm hitting the end button. Delete, end button, delete, end button. If not, you can always do delete and then just click at the end and delete. Click at the end, delete. You can do it that way if you want. I find the end button is a button that has uh, says end on mine. Just puts you at the end and you can delete it a bit more quicker. Like I say, this is a little bit finicky, but again, uh, it's either this or edit it, revise it multiple times, which I'm sure that you don't want to do that. You'll now notice our code's gone gray, which now means that everything is okay. Everything's in one line, and now I can save. So I actually now have the hard copy of the categories, and I actually have the listing categories.js um, created as well. I now need to make sure I upload the listing underscore categories.js to my FTP. 
So let's grab that listing underscore categories, drop it inside of the JS folder. We're in the JS folder and we're dropping it inside the JS folder. Yes, I want to overwrite that. Okay, let's come to the listing and try refreshing the listing. Okay, and let's have a look. And you'll notice here we've got our shoes. That's the links we created with baby shoes, adult shoes, dog shoes. And remember inside of dog shoes, we created the two colors. And then we did that other example where we had clothing and those are the links inside of the clothing. So as you can see, the categories have updated and everything looks good. Also inside of here, we have these little icons here, okay? And you'll notice that these icons can be changed if you wanted to from, um, let's have a look here. Let's just bring up the images folder. And you'll notice them here, icon here. This is, if you wanted to have your own icon, what you can do if you've got like an image editor or something, we've provided this, um, this one here, and it's got all these little icons that you can actually just take out a little snippet, save it, call it the same name as this, icon Lee Cat, and that will actually uh, change it accordingly. Okay, make sure you upload that to the server. And it's the same for the level two categories, the little, um, the little arrow here. Again, come in here, do a little slice, cut it up, save it, call it bullet uh, hyphen level two, and that will uh, overwrite it. And that means on your categories, you can actually have um, some nice looking icons here. We just coded them up so it allows you to have icons in there. Um, that's just the way to do it. If for some reason that you don't want them on there, then you, you can always change the actual CSS file, which is inside of the CSS. We're on the listing page. And if you scroll down, you'll notice here on line 72, you've got a background image here. You can actually just delete that out and that will actually get rid of the image full stop, okay? Um, be careful in here. This is the actual file that actually makes everything look good. If you start deleting stuff and start getting into the nitty gritty here, then um, be careful that you don't overwrite something. Once you've made a change inside of there, all you will need to do then is upload the CSS file, the listing.css. If I go back, uh, CSS file, listing.css, just upload that to the CSS file and that will overwrite it, okay? Uh, but like I say, be careful in there. And the easiest option would be to just come in here, change the icon and call it the same name, icon hyphen Lee hyphen cat or bullet hyphen level two, and then overwrite them and you should be good to go. Hope this tutorial has been helpful and uh, thanks very much. Cheers.